we have some of the greatest treasures in North Florida. You can literally go fishing somewhere every afternoon. It is Mayberry by the Sea. No traffic lights, no franchises, no high rises, beautiful white sand. We fell in love with this location. This is the last hurrah for us. Mexico Beach is not the town that historically had seen hurricanes, certainly nothing like Michael. As I drove back in town, I was heartbroken to see the homes around me that had been destroyed. I can't describe the satisfaction that I had in having a home that we had worked so hard to build the way we built and to see it survive. The amount of damage in Gulf County is insane. I think because of the area, that a lot of people haven't seen a 150 mile an hour storm before. The intensification at the very end of the storm prior to landfall, that was something that we did not prepare for. We know now it is much different to prepare for a category four or five event than it is a two or three event. We wanna know, does what we do in the lab translate into what's happening in the field? We will look at the different failure modes and we're gonna see, did we expect this failure mode to happen based on the type of construction? How can we make this better? What sort of connection can make it so we don't see that same failure mode again? Were there any surprises? What were the building codes at that time? We would talk to our engineer about the code and then we looked for the products and the methods that would help us go above and beyond. We didn't build a code, we built to our comfort level. We use building code as a guide and the bare minimum in our design process. The person that's building a house, buying a house, they may not know that the code is actually the minimum standard. It's there for life safety. So here in Mexico Beach, what are they gonna do when they rebuild? Is building to code going to be all right? Or do they wanna go above code? Jack and I discussed early the type of connectors and fasteners that would be used on the structure. He specifies Simpson Strong Tie. I was happy to hear that because I know that Simpson's a great product. LeBron and Russell wanted us to design a home that could withstand the most violent hurricane. In doing that, they were very hands-on with the project. And engineers generally aren't salesmen. I'm not a salesman. We use certain products and tell them these are the best products. These are the guts of your home and this is what will make it stay here. Our roof is held down with hurricane anchors. The roof is the toughest part of the engineering. The product that holds the roof down is critical. Building for high wind events is not just for new construction. You can fortify an existing home to withstand high wind events by using retrofit connections. You can take them from the roof all the way to the foundation. You're not gonna just tear the house down and build a new house, so how are you gonna make that house stronger? Most people think that it's a huge, extensive process and we have to rip the roof off, and what we end up doing is we tear out the soffit and we add hurricane straps from the soffit. It's all on the outside of the home. After the hurricane here in Mexico Beach, we went out and we did a damage assessment ourselves. There was 113 homes that we had added Simpson Strong to hurricane straps to. We had zero damage to the houses that we added the hurricane straps, but then you drive a block down the street and you see houses with the roof completely gone. I've seen Mother Nature relocate roofs free of charge multiple times. You have to make those connections all the way down into the point of resistance, which is typically a foundation. And if you skip a step, you will see a failure happen somewhere down that load path. Once your roof is gone, that building is gone. Our homes have now been tested. We tell all of our clients that it's an investment for you. We want our engineers to be able to specify with confidence. And they know they have confidence when they're using Simpson Strong Tie because it's not only calculated, it's tested, it's proven. And then we go check it out in the real world as well. I would say to anyone who thinks that it's too expensive to build for a high wind event like a tornado or a hurricane, they should think twice about that because if they're in an area that is subject to 
those kind of forces, it is certainly money well spent. The fact that we did 113 homes prior to the hurricane in Franklin County and zero damage to any of them, that's the reason we use Simpson Strong Tie. We wanted to build a house that would last for generations and that intersect between the weather and our family is the house behind me. Mexico Beach will come back. The dolphins still swim in the ocean, the waves still break on the sand, and the sunset's still over water.